princesses, today I'm going to be decluttering my makeup. So of course doing YouTube I do tend to collect a lot of makeup and skincare, either stuff that was bought by me or sent to me or given as gifts. And I personally do not think that I need to hold on to everything because it will expire at some point. And if I'm not going to use it up and I'm not enjoying using it or I think that someone else will enjoy it more, I don't see anything wrong with giving it away. Or in some cases, if I don't think that anyone that I know will like it, especially with foundations and things like that, um, and if they're lightly used or can be sanitized, I do actually sell a lot of my collection. These are my possessions and for the most part I have paid for them. So if I sell them, I do get some money back and that money gets put towards new products. And that is how I can afford to do this because making YouTube videos is expensive. So I'm going to take all of this out and then we will have a look at what we have. So there is still a massive amount of cheek stuff here. Some of this stuff is more decorative, so the stuff that's sort of like on this side that came from the shelving um, is not stuff that I use day to day, it's just more stuff that has really beautiful packaging um, and shades that I still really like. But again, there are some things in here that I can see that I don't particularly want. So at the back here, some of these things are from recent reviews that I know that I don't want. So I have both of the It's Skin Baby Face highlighters. These didn't work out for me, which is fine. That's why I put them back into their packaging because they are easily sanitized and easily sellable. I also have the Skin Food Sugar Mix Highlighting and Shading um, duos. So these ones also didn't really work out for me because I only liked one color in each of the duos. There's not much point keeping things like this because I only like one color. There's no point of me using up one side of the product when I could easily find something in all of this that would do just as well. I think it seems like I'm quite harsh with my products, but in reality, there's so much to choose from here. I also kept this blusher in the packaging because I knew I didn't like it when I swatched it on camera and I definitely said that as well, which may be an unpopular opinion, but it just didn't work out for me. I did try it on my skin and I couldn't see anything, so that is a complete fail. I think as well the Semmel blushes are probably a little bit redundant for me as well. Not because they're bad, just because I have way too many other things. The colours are not unique to me and the packaging is not unique. It's actually very big and bulky, so I'd rather have things that have tiny and pretty packaging in comparison but they still have the same colors. So things that I definitely know that I'm not gonna throw away, of course, we'll start off with the Starlander blushes. These are super, super cute, shaped like little scallops, um, and they have really beautiful colors. These travel well because they're so small um, and they have a beautiful color range. So definitely gonna keep these. I absolutely adore my NARS Orgasm. That is fantastic. Same with my Kelly Powder Blush from MAC in the shade Cheeky Bugger. It's a beautiful peach. I love my MAC Well Dressed Beautiful Pale Pink and definitely my favourite MAC blush um, that I've tried is Pearl Blossom. Um, it's in the Barbie packaging and I actually got it from a blogger called Lani Loves who's also here in New Zealand. Um, it was one of her de-stashes so between New Zealand bloggers we also de-stash stuff to each other so it's obviously very very well used but it is a fantastic blush and I absolutely adore the way that this one looks. I have all four of my Candy Doll blushes. These are duos, so there are two shades or like one um, blush and one highlight shade in each. Fantastic pigmentation, beautiful small slim packaging. So again, another product that I will like to keep because of how many shades you get in such small packaging. I absolutely love this miniature dandelion highlighter from Benefit. Um, it's the perfect travel size. I mean, this sample or deluxe size is almost the same size as the full size of these Style Nanda ones. To be honest, I don't know the pan size of these Style Nanda blushes, but I would bet that they are the same size as that deluxe sample. And honestly, I prefer deluxe sample sized products because I am literally never going to get through this much makeup in my life. Okay, okay. Easy ones that I use every day. Um, the Benefit Hula Light Bronzer is something that I've been getting a lot more use out of. I'm trying to do more eye looks. I'm trying to actually bronze and contour and all of that. 
mainstream stuff. Um, and this is actually a really, really lovely product. I actually don't use my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel as much as I use the Huda Bronzer. This one I actually share with my sister as well, and I will have to think about whether I'm going to keep it in my room, because you can see that I've used the center of it, but it's not that used. This is going in the maybe pile, like I won't sell it, but it might live with someone else for a little while and I'll see if I miss it. The cheek stuff is stressing me out, so I'm going to go into some eye stuff because that's the easier. I have my Naked 1 and Naked 3 palettes. Love them. Easy. They stay because I really don't have that much eye stuff. Same with the Cinderella, um, it's not a quad, but like a six tuplet shades. Um, I use this on a day-to-day -day basis. I actually use this brown shade here to contour my nose um, and pretty much any crease work because it's super light and if you make a mistake you don't know. I often use this shade here which is Floof um, and I use that on my lid just for sparkle in like 90% of my videos. I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade and this is fantastic as well. I love these. These are the Alice in Wonderland by Beyond uh, shadows, this kind of like cream shadows. I had the whole collection of them which were provided for review by Korean Kiwi Beauty and I did get rid of some that were not my cup of tea, there was like a bright blue and things like that, but I kept the ones that were wearable colours for me and these again kind of go like on my lids and then I used that one brown shade by MAC to do my crease. <laughs> I didn't say I was good at it, I said I was trying. I had been using this Revlon highlighter as my highlighter for quite some time. The packaging is now not really that good because it doesn't click in. This one's called Pure Confection. I think it's probably time for this one to go because I have other options. I have this little Elizabeth Arden duo, which I think is really pretty. It's just a basic navy and this like really beautiful um, brown color, which I still kind of use. Not that much, but it's pretty and it's small. Oh, I also have a setting spray in here because that's kind of like a base. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I don't know, I think this is fine. I haven't actually seen any extra longevity on my makeup um, for using this spray, but still giving it a go. This is a deluxe mini as well from Mika Cosmetica. I have the Tony Molly Luminous Goddess Aura Crystal Light Collection. There's bronze, a um, gold, as well as a pink. These are really beautiful, um, but I also don't highlight my face that much. The bronze I definitely don't use, so I don't want to keep it. The gold I don't get that much use out of either. I feel like the pink looks the best on my skin. I hate splitting up collections. It's almost like an OCD thing for me, but I'm not, I'm not diagnosed with OCD, so I don't think it's fair to say that I have OCD, but I just do not like splitting up collections. If I am getting rid of one, I want to get rid of them all. But this one does definitely look nice and I don't have anything else like it, so I'm going to be brave and just keep one. I've been staring at these little blushes by Skin Food for quite some time. I can't even remember what they're called. I think they're called Cheek Chalks. I used to really enjoy wearing them and I definitely did wear them quite a lot. But these days I find that they're too much work to blend. They just, it's too much work for what you get, so I feel like these ones... I have grown out of. I used to love them and I still think they're good products, but I feel like I like other products better now, which is fine. So I have the entire Dreaming Swan collection, which I absolutely love. I don't get them out and use them as often, but um, if I was to get rid of other blushes, I think I would still keep these because they are absolutely gorgeous shades. They come in beautiful tin packaging and some of them have these really beautiful tutu puffs. There we go. So some of them don't, um, which is really annoying, but you can actually put your little fingers underneath the tutu and it's just so freaking cute. I did ballet for a really, really long time, so the Dreaming Swan collection for me was just like what dreams were made of. There's five colors in this collection and although I wish they had smaller packaging um, because they are really quite bulky, at least they stack well, so I can actually store them inside my rotating container back there um, and it still looks fine. I also have four out of five of the Etude House Etoinette blushes. So the one in the white packaging is actually an all over powder, which I very, very rarely use. So I, should, I don't use it at all because I just don't think it looks good. Um, but it's just like a sparkly powder, basically. I have often thought about throwing this out, um, the powder, not the packaging, so that I can use the packaging for something else because it is like absolutely just so gorgeous and the puff is really sweet too but I keep it just in case I need it. 
these sorts of things for me are not things that I will ever use up most likely. They're there for decoration. They're beautiful limited edition products um, and looking at them literally makes me happy. So they're there to provide happiness, not really to provide functionality, which I am okay with. One of these is a highlighter and the other two are blushes. I think this one is the highlighter. So these are, those got nailed. These are the heart highlighters and blushes. You can kind of see that um, they are little powders squished into heart shapes, but they are super fragile and they break really often. So I don't keep all of them in there at the same time. They come with like eight or nine hearts. The highlighter comes with two different colors. So a silver and a gold, which means you can mix and match and make the best color for yourself. Same with the blushes, they have, that's love. They have three different colors, um, pale, medium, and a dark color. That's the orange. And then that is the pink as well. And again, I absolutely love these, but I do not think that I will ever use them up. Um, they're really there for my happiness, and I think that they're gorgeous. Something that's slightly more functional is the entire collection of the Etude House cookie blushes. I really enjoy all of these blushes, even though I don't get them out that often anymore, um, because they actually live in some of my other plastic storage. The annoying thing for me is that um, the packaging of these is really difficult to store, so they have the domed top and a flat bottom. That means that they don't stack on top of each other that well. You can stack them, but as soon as you move them, they will fall. Um, but they are just, in general, beautiful blushes, really good quality, really cheap as well. And I'm lucky enough to have the full collection. You can't get a lot of these colors anymore, which just makes me want to hold on to them more. So one of the colors that you can't really get is called Strawberry Mousse, which is shade number one. It's a super, super white pink. Um, not really that helpful for most people, to be honest. And another one is number eight, which is Blueberry Pie. So these ones are not in production anymore. You can't buy them. Um, so that makes them slightly special to me. It's unlikely that I would ever sell them. So back to all of this stuff after my quick mental break. I have <laughs> spent eyelash curler, fantastic. Benefit comes with these brushes. Um, I don't think that they're helpful, but I still have them and they're still in their packaging. I have a pencil sharpener as well for my eye products. A lot of these products I really like, but I just do not use that often. I'm not sure if it's because I forget about them or because they're not really that helpful. I think I will keep this one. This is a Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Shadow in the shade Bone. I use this as a base if I wanted to use sticky glitters and things like that um, because it's the closest to my skin tone. I also have um, Max Let's Skate Pro, Pro, Pro Long Wear Paint Pot. I think I will end up keeping the matte paint pot because it still is helpful. I have three of the Etude House Minnie Mouse Collection shadows. I have the um, beige sparkle and I do use this quite a lot, I've just forgotten about it lately. I also have the peach shadow which is actually a really beautiful transition colour. And then we have the pink which does work well as a blush and could work well as an eyeshadow if I was brave enough to use it. So I think for the cuteness and because they're small I will still keep these. I have um, an Etude House Tear Powder, which is really beautiful, but again, I don't use this. So this is going to go in the maybe pile. The maybe pile is for products that I probably should get rid of, but I can't quite get myself to do it until I try them one last time. Same with this ColourPop product. This is a Super Shock Shadow. Um, this was given to me by my sister-in-law because she had it and she didn't like it that much. It is still really beautiful as well, which is why I've held onto it. But, um, oh, it is really pretty though. It's a bit more intense than what I would usually use. So again, it's going to go in the maybe pile. And then a product that I inherited from my actual sister is the Dolly Wink number one. Some sort of cream shadow. Can't read Japanese. Um, and this is a really pretty cream shadow. But again, I don't use it that much. This is really, really bright gold. And it is pretty. But yeah, I just, mm, I think this one I have to give back to her because it's not mine to get rid of. This brings us back to these ones, which I was struggling with previously. I have been using these a fair amount, um, but I've been finding that they're not, they're easy to use, but it depends on what foundation you use. Because sometimes when you strap it on, it'll actually take off the foundation underneath, depending on the formula, which does really frustrate me. So I think for that reason, um, they're going to go to somebody else because 
ugh, I just cannot be bothered, though they are really beautiful. I have my two Mary Moaned blushes. These are super cute, really lovely blushes. They have three colours and I use the pink a lot. I do not use the orange a lot though because I just don't wear orange shades. I do use this peach shade though. I think that this one, because of its versatility and cute packaging, I probably will still keep hold of. Please don't yell at me. Um, and then if I decide within, actually let's put this one in the maybe pile. We'll keep this one for sure because I love it and it's easy to use and it's travel friendly, but the other one, I just don't love the colors. And then we've got the other Minnie Mouse collection. So this is the same one as the um, eyeshadows that I showed you previous. Oh. This is the blush, and then there is also a highlight. And there's no real reason that I don't use these, aside from the fact that I just have other products to use at the moment. So the highlight is actually really beautiful too. I try and avoid using the purple, which is why you can see that there's so much wear to the bottom of the mini face, because I think that those two colors are a lot better. I think that the purple throws too much of a pink tone for me. But I think that that's going to have to go in the maybe pile because they're just sitting there and taking up space. Again, the same with the blush. I kind of avoid using the um, orange part. But it is a really pretty pink blush, which you can't see because the lighting is terrible. We also have the rest of the eye stuff. So I do have a couple of things in here as well that I do need to look at because they've just been sitting there. Um, so there are a couple of things I can see in here that I probably do not need. The first one being the uh, Peter Peter Ink Brow. This is a really cool product, but it's not the right color. Um, it's just too light and this is the darkest shade. So this one is gonna go. I absolutely love my Etude House contouring brow kit. So that'll obviously stay. I have eyebrow razors, which are not interesting, but just go back in here. I also have the MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose. I'm pretty sure that I haven't used that in quite some time because it's just not a product that I use. So I think that this one can go to a more loving home. The same with this Tony Molly Lovely Eyebrow Pencil. I think I got this in one of the earlier boutique bags, but um, I used the spoolie on the end. I could just get disposable spoolies though. Um, and the brow product itself is actually not the right color either. So that is way lighter than my hair is. So I've used it once I think and it looks stupid so I think this deserves to go to a new home. I have my normal eyeliners so I have my Dolly Wink liquid liner which you guys have seen a million times and the rest of the Etude House Easy Graphy pen which I have reviewed in December as well. I have two of the NYX Jumbo Sticks. I have one in Milk, that classic colour, and I have got one in Yogurt which is a really pretty like fleshy toned colour. I have two eye primers at the moment. One is a mini Urban Decay and one is the Etude House Proof 10 Eye Prime. The Urban Decay is going to run out pretty soon, but if you guys would like a comparison between the two, do let me know and I'll do that for you too. I have three mascaras at the moment. I have the Lancome Grandios Mascara. This is the waterproof version, which I really, really like. You just have to be careful when you pull it out because it does have that bent applicator, so you just kind of have to twist it out, otherwise you can run the risk of actually pulling the ring off. I also have minis of the Benefit Roller Lash, as well as the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. The Better Than Sex Mascara is great for the first hour, and then the curl drops so badly. Um, the Benefit Roller Lash is a really nice standard mascara, but nothing to write home about. I just don't think it's that good or that interesting. Then I have the Baby Face Waterproof Eyeliner, which is a pencil liner. I don't know where I got this from um, because I don't use pencil liner at all, um, but I kept it just, you know, for that, that one occasion where I would need a, a black pencil liner. And I'm pretty sure in a year I haven't used this, so that's going to go to somebody else. And then we have my current pain point, which are these tear liners. So I have four of the Etude House tear eyeliners, um, and they're really beautiful. I just really don't use them. And then I have three of the Etude House Dreaming Swan tear eyeliners as well. Do the same thing. Um, you can use them as eyeshadows as well, but I mean... They mostly just sort of go like around the egg yourself. So they can be eyeshadows, they can be highlighters, they can be whatever you'd want them to be. They are, they would be pretty blinding as a highlighter though. I just I don't highlight my face like that. And they are all really beautiful. And I had this problem last year 
where it took me ages to decide on whether I should keep them or whether I should get rid of them and I decided to keep them and I swear I have not used them since then anyway like maybe once or twice but I just cannot bring myself to get rid of them I think I'm gonna put the tear liners in the maybe pile just because of the applicators and how much older they are those are some really old eyeliners as well and I know that they have an expiry that they still work fine, they don't smell, the colours are the same. So I don't think that they actually do need to go in the bin. But then again, they're my eyes and I can do whatever I want with them. But this is how much we have cleaned out today. So those are all the blushes that I have. Bronzers, highlighter, extra blusher. Um, I have my little like um, trio down here. All of the eye stuff as well as the palettes and my spray is just hidden down the bottom there. So I think that that looks pretty good to me. So that is it for today and I will see you guys in a couple of weeks when I will do my lipsticks as well. And that will also be a really long video. Not intentionally, it's just gonna happen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.